Uh, my name is Marion Hartley, and uh, this is my first Star Trek convention, so I'm a virgin, so please be kind of gentle with me if you want to understand this question and answer. Um, we did all our yesterdays uh, with a fake fur uh, stole, whatever the heck that was, a huge coat of fake fur. Well, want you to know it's fake fur. Um, <clears throat> and, it, and it looked, uh, anyway, um, and I had absolutely no idea what Star Trek was. You know, I come from, I come from Connecticut. You know, I mean, what, what, at first of all, I didn't know what television was, you know. And that started just as I kind of came out to L.A. And as um, a matter of fact, my, my wonderful daughter said to me, Mom, the only reason you worked so much in television was because there was nobody else acting. <laughs> so, um, so I did a lot of television. And I was, I was so lucky. I did Bonanzas and Gunsmokes and, and did some wonderful stuff. And then this amazing piece came up called All Our Yesterday. Um, and I was going to be playing this Vulcan's girlfriend. I mean, this man with the two strange looking ears. And uh, I had no idea that he had never gone to bed with anybody else before me. <laughs> Apparently before me, uh, Spock was a vegetarian. <laughs> I actually taught him how to eat meat. Uh, you know, whatever is said in Vegas stays in Vegas. So, so. Um, but he was a great guy to work with. They all were terrific to work with. And uh, I, I had a wonderful time, but had absolutely no idea the in immensity of the influence that this particular episode was going to have. Um, you know, stooping Spock. Was not uh, was a, not my idea of, of uh, a huge acting uh, cho career choice, but uh, it turned out to be terrific, and uh, he wasn't bad. <laughs> so, I assume you've done this before. Um, oh yeah. So, but it was great, and I started acting when I was ten uh, in the theater in Connecticut, and didn't come out really to uh, L.A. to Hollywood until. Uh, uh, 1961, where I did Sam Peckinpah's first movie called Ride the High Country. Okay. And uh, from that point, just kept working and working and working. And I was very, I have been a very, very lucky actress, especially at this age, because there are a lot of people my age who aren't, you know, it's a fickle business. Um, you were actually mentioned in one of the cast members' autobiographies. And uh, what uh, was written about you? Uh -oh. um, it, well, what happened? Uh, uh, that person was talking about uh, how Mr. William Shatner had an amazing charm with all the female guest stars yeah. on the show during its original run. Not with me. Uh, that's what the, this person said. That yeah. you know, uh, this person said uh, that you know it was refreshing to see Lee Merriweather and uh, Mary you know, and you, yeah. uh, you know, just tell him exactly where to go. Oh, please. First of all, he's too short for me, and uh, you know, and you can always tell that somebody. No, no, I, I, I love Bill. It's just that he really did have a tendency to take himself real seriously with women, and um, I, uh, uh, he still does. So anyway, and I heard that from. I heard that from. Oh, see, are you, what are you related to him? No, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. You liked the honesty, or you... oh, that's great. No, it, it's, yeah. uh, it rocks. Okay. <laughs> I can be much more honest than that, and I won't be because this is a Star Trek convention, and I know where my bread is buttered. So, um, <laughs> thank you. Hitchcock is a tough guy, uh, uh, and I was I was going through a very rough period of my life at that time, anyway, and I was slightly paranoid. <laughs> So I never knew, and at the same time I was doing Peyton Place, and of course in Peyton Place I never knew if I was going to get kicked off the show, and, you know, the next day, you know, it was just, working in soap operas, it's just very tough. But Hitch was, um, you know, Tippy and I know one another, Tippy Hedden and I know one another, he was tough with her too, it, he's, he, he's a, but I tell you, he's an incredible filmmaker, I just recently, we just recently saw the movie again. Mm. And uh, it's an amazing, amazing film. 
Mm -hmm. uh, one of the first kind of psychological thrillers that really dares go into uh, something with which I'm very familiar, you know, post-traumatic stress. And, uh, and of course, I, 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 to, to re-see it after um, many, many, many years, uh, I, I was pretty astonished by the film. And I adore Tip, uh, Tippy. He's tough, but he's brilliantly talented. Yeah. Thank you.